something to talk about. Let's give them something to talk about. How about love, love, love? Woo. What it is, y'all? This your girl Giggs. I'm basically here to tell you guys about my second channel. It's called Giggs Uncut. So the link will be at the bottom of this video. It basically would be giving you guys a second chance to think about being my subscribers because um a lot of people have been you know writing me giving me their opinions on my character and everything as far as I'm concerned um I know a lot of people get on YouTube and have characters and shit but I I, I don't have a character this is me all day and it just basically you could unsubscribe from this channel if you want to it's all up to you but I'm gonna be so fucking raw and so fucking uncut and so unapologetic on that channel and I plan to do something different than I ever did before which is kind of sort of take my phone everywhere I go and record so that's the uncut thing about it so you're gonna be like in a life of gigs every fucking day it's not gonna be like a 24 hour thing or anything like that it's just like a spur of the moment i'll just do like a check-in with y'all and shit you know throughout the day and shit and yes i have that much time to dedicate you know to do it only because you know i want y'all to be a part of what i'm about to go through um, which is going to be some great things. So, um, I definitely want to get like footage of me, you know, getting my surgery and preparing for it and everything. And, um, I want it, you know, to kind of make awareness to the eye disease that I have called keratoconus. I definitely want to make awareness to that. Um, so, you know, go get your regular examinations eye examinations because sometimes doctors can catch whatever that's going on and not only just your eye just your body itself before it gets worse than what it is that's what I'm trying to say and see um, my last surgery which was back in um, 2010 the end of the 2011 uh, I'm sorry uh, oh no no, I'm, I'm, I'm correct. In the, in the ending of 2011, uh, it was um, in October. No, 2010. Okay, I smoked, so y'all forgive me. Anyways, um, that was a successful surgery, but it was nerve-wracking. And plus, like, I was aware of the keratoconus. I, I'm sorry, I wasn't aware of the keratoconus until I was like, 26 27 because I never regularly went and got my eyes checked and shit but um uh, once I found out you know I had a, a doctor that specializes in it and then I had to do the corneal transplant which is basically um you know a surgery where, where you're getting a you know a dead person's cornea a person that had donated their cornea to you know the organs you know donation place or whatever and um I, I'm, I have that right now in my right eye but now I have to go through the same surgery on my left eye but the reason why I'm making it aware is because one day I just woke up and I had this white cloudy substance over my eye it was just white it was my eye was, I was blind I couldn't see anything in my eye and my only in my own in my right eye not my left eye so I just woke up and it was there and I, I, the only way that I can explain it is if you if you ever seen Ray you know the story of Ray Charles when he was little and they showed you how how foggy his his pupils was mine was like that it, my eyes was actually gray they were like really really like a uh, smoky grayish color so um that's how it was so imagine walking around your town with one eye that is so glassy so cloudy because it was glassy too and the other eye that's just brown you know because I got brown eyes 
So imagine that I had to walk around. I'm on a waiting list for the cornea and I had to walk around for two years with my cornea like that. And, you know, imagine that people's asking you, do you have on a contact or your eyes are so beautiful because the weirdest thing, y'all, this is the weirdest thing. And I don't think this happened to all cornea uh, transplant patients. But, uh, well, not that, um, keratoconus disease patients. But the weirdest thing is my eyes turn colors. No lie. Like, it turns brown and then it'll turn gray. So, the whole time it looked like I had gray eyes. And people used to walk around and say, do you have contacts? Then they look and they'd be like, oh, one of them are very cloudy and you know it was like re real weird it's kind of very hard to explain I'm gonna see if I can find an old picture to put it on here let me just see if I can do that morning I promise y'all every morning as soon as I get up I'm scared because I run into the bathroom to see if it's in my eye that I have to go through surgery for right now so it's it's kind of like nerve-wracking and it's it's very depressing and you go through this I went through this stage where I, I was just eating and I didn't even give a fuck like I just let myself go I did but I'm glad I'm back on my regular scheduled programming as far as myself and um <coughs> <coughs> and um I'm just glad that you know you know I, I mean I, I I've been accused of being ungrateful for someone that actually died to donate my donate their organs to me and that is a lie that is somewhat a lie and not somewhat that is such a fucking lie and um i'm grateful i'm so fucking grateful and i i just you know i'm blessed i'm blessed that those options are available and every time i fucking record this man come with the goddamn lawnmower i don't under i don't understand it y'all i don't fucking understand it and the noise just gets to me and shit anyways um it, I, i'm sorry y'all i got sidetracked but just go to the to the new channel and subscribe and you're gonna see everything it's just gonna be uncut and let me just get off this shit because yeah it's aggravating the hell out of me so i'll holler at you guys later this is your girl gigs bye <laughs> Come on, trap it, I'll be good. Come on, trap it, I'll be good.